So I wanted Kevin to put this out because I wanted you guys to know that even though you're going through a lot of battles right now, you will get through it. Okay. So three things. First thing I do when I'm going through a really bad, bad battle is I get on my knees and I pray. And I know it sounds funny, like I get on my knees and I pray to Jesus, but no, it's true. Like I, I totally get on my knees, whether it's in the bedroom, in the living room, I don't care where it is, the she shack. Yes, I have a she shack. Just get on your knees and say, Lord Jesus, help me. Because this is a battle. And guess what? The only way you can get through the warfare is by praying. So I showed you that book because I read a lot. And that's something that I think is important too when you're going through all of these battles and the struggles is to consistently fill your mind with things that are good. You know, people who already gone through the struggles and overcame them, the library is an amazing place to be. You know, you can find lots of resources and books uh, from, you know, autism parenting to spiritual guidance to, you know, just all kinds of stuff there and it's free. I recommend going to the library when you're going through a big battle at home. Now, if you're at home and you don't have any help, then try to get some respite. And I know it's easy for me to say, but that would be number two. Try to get some respite. Try to get some help. Here in Ohio, there are direct support providers, which you can find through the Ohio Department of Developmental Disabilities, which Medicaid will actually pay those people to help take care of your child. Yes, it's true. It's wonderful. Take advantage of it. In other states, I am not familiar with what they do, but always call your, you know, your Department of Developmental Disabilities to see what they can help you with. Uh, churches are a really big thing too. You know, they provide respite nights sometimes once a month, sometimes quarterly. It just depends on where you live. Um, but it really is important for you to get some rest that you need. So. The third thing is to enjoy your life. I say that with a deep breath because it's really hard for us as parents that have kids with autism and disabilities to enjoy life like everybody else is. Stop paying attention to Facebook. Stop paying attention to Instagram. Stop paying attention to all these people with their perfect pictures and, you know, their perfect family posts and all that stuff. Please don't do that to yourself. It is just a way for you to just beat your mind up and your spirit up. You don't need that. So instead of looking through all those people's feeds and thinking like, oh man, I wish we were like that. I'm never going to be, we're never going to be like that. Because I know there's a lot of people who are like that. Don't be like that. Don't beat yourself up. Try to enjoy the journey that you're on with your child, with your family, if you have a spouse, with your spouse. You know, I mean, if you have a child that is not a screamer, because we have a child with a lot of, of things going on with him, and he is a screamer. He screams for everything. And now that he's almost 13, his scream is really loud, so it's hard for us to go anywhere. But thank God for respite, and thank God for family members who are flipping awesome, you know? We're most grateful for the help that we get. But if you don't have a screamer and you have someone who, you know, a child that, you know, may be hard to handle, but you can redirect them on a nice day, take them to the park, take them somewhere, you know, so you can get a break, so you can try to enjoy life. Take them to the movies. They have sensory friendly films at AMC theaters, you know, take them to you know, anywhere where you can just kind of get a break and enjoy life. Just do it, you know. Um, so I'm hoping those three things can kind of help you through your week. And I will direct you, direct you to our website as well. So if you haven't found anything that's helping you, please reach out to us. We love to help you guys. www.strategiestocope.com All right, guys. Have a great week.